Hi, I'm Linda from Salty Seattle, and today I'm gonna demystify colored pasta dough for you. People are always asking for my color tips and tricks. Well, pay close attention because this is going to show it to you. We're gonna go step by step, and we're gonna color our pasta dough with vegetables, herbs, and superfoods. We're gonna start with blending the color and talk about how blending the color can yield different results and how to knead them into beautiful colored balls of pasta dough that you can just create anything out of. I mean, there is a world of possibilities out there, so please join me. Here we go. Orange, green, and purple pasta doughs from scratch. And so in terms of process, let's just go through, say, what makes orange pasta dough. Orange is essentially uh, eggs, roasted red peppers, or harissa, and flour. Look around in the farmer's markets and in the fresh produce sections of your local grocery store. Look at the pigmentation of things, and basically, the color of this is going to be the final color of your pasta. So you want vegetables, herbs, and superfoods that are highly pigmented anyway. To make orange, there's a couple of different options. Roasted red pepper makes a really bright and vibrant an orange, and it's gonna have a, a subtle taste to it, a little bit of a flavor. If you want an even more amped up orange though, you can use harissa, and harissa is a North African spice paste, and it's got a real bit of a kick to it. So will you taste that kick? Sure, if you use tablespoons upon tablespoons of the harissa paste, that's gonna come through. That flavor's gonna come through in the final pasta, especially if you're just making orange pasta and you're turning that into fettuccine noodles. That would be something that I would think about serving when I wanted that kind of spiciness. But on the other hand, using roasted red peppers is a really great option because they don't have as strong of a flavor and you can use something like that when you're not looking for that specific flavor. The purple pasta dough is one of my favorite to demo because it really shows you the sort of range of purple. And what I say to people is use your blender and start with a little bit of your ingredient. In the case of purple, I use a little bit of beets and a little bit of blueberries. You can probably guess that if I'm going more towards, say, the fuchsia side of purple, so kind of heading toward those pinks, those magentas, I'm gonna use more beets. But if I want to amp up that true prince purple rain, purple, 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 then we're gonna go with more blueberries. But I'll show you as we use the blender here, we're gonna start out and you'll see that the pigment isn't as strong in blueberries and so it gives you this almost grayish purple and that's why the beets are there. But you wanna add beets, not too many, and we can kind of play with and really finesse our shades here in the purple. You can turn any green vegetable that you like into green pasta dough. So this is just kind of a, this is a standard, this is your template, but really feel free to explore. You know, in the springtime, go out there, snip some nettles, make sure to wear gloves as you're harvesting them. If kale is your favorite green and you've got it in the garden, use kale. You can even use the leaves from things like broccoli sprouts or Brussels sprouts. Anything green, really, any green vegetables is gonna make green pasta. But for our purposes, we're gonna use parsley. Parsley is really neutral. It's pretty benign. Kids don't mind the taste of parsley because it really doesn't come through that forward on the pasta dough. Something like spinach or kale might be a little bit stronger. And I also like parsley because it's a nice, vibrant, bright green. One fun thing to do on a rainy day is just go get all the greens you can find at the farmer's market or from your garden and make each of those using this process into the different pasta doughs and you'll really see uh, sort of the nuances and colors and in shades of different green vegetables. So that's kind of a fun experiment. This video is meant to give you guys the steps and the confidence and the tools that you need to do this in your own kitchen. I hope you enjoyed and learned everything you needed to learn about making your own color pasta dough. If you have any additional questions, please leave them down below in comments and make sure to subscribe because we've got new video content coming weekly teaching you all about the colorful world of pasta. I'm Salty Seattle and I will see you soon. Arrivederci.